Hello besties. So today I'm starting a new week's vlog. It is Tuesday today, which is kind of uncommon for me to start something for a week on Tuesday. I typically start that on Sunday, if not Monday, but today is August First, we are officially in August. We are officially, I mean, we have been for the last month on this side of the half year mark, but I really feel it in August, July, it's still summer. Truthfully, August is still summer because it is currently 83 degrees, but I feel like just last week, it was like in the 90s around midday. So I'm manifesting early fall, I'm doing it. But anyways, I feel like that is a great segue into kind of today what we're doing. Um, I've had this like wild hair today to kick off August with a fall run. And by that, I mean Aaron's run, not run run. But it's August and next month I decorate for fall. I decorate in September every year. I feel like a lot of people do decorate in August and it's not that I don't want it up. But as you just heard, it is still in the mid 80s here. The sun is still out a long time during the day. And I just kind of want to feel fall when I decorate for fall. I like to bring in my fall wardrobe around that time. So I typically wait until the first if not second week of September. But it's like fall all over social media and I just have a hunch that all the decor places um, are going to start having fall come out if it's not already out, which is crazy. So I've made a little list and I wanna go run some errands. I really wanna go to Target because I am interested to see if there's anything fall. I really wanna go and look for wall art. I've been sprucing up some things in our home and I'd really like a large art print above our bed in our bedroom. I feel like that will just tie it all together. And then in our bathroom, I recently added that teak bench, which added some warmth, but I feel like because it's white and we have a very, very large white wall backdrop in our bathroom, I kind of want just like some kind of canvas or something there. Um, I've also been looking at some other art, wall art for either our staircase or I'd really like to find somewhere in our living room or something to put some art, but it's printable from Etsy. So I'm gonna have to buy frames, but not too worried about that yet. Today, I really wanna focus on like over the bed and a bathroom, see if I find anything at Target. I need to go to Sephora to see if they have any of the Summer Fridays lip balm, butter, I forget what it's always called. Um, but there's like two colors that have released since I purchased mine in February. And I really like those. So I wanna see if my Sephora has that. I need to go to Ulta because I'm almost out of my Tula 24 seven. And then I wanna go to Kirkland's and Home Goods. Listen, do not be sleeping on Kirkland's. Kirkland's I know has a wrap for like old lady store-ish, but lately, like especially last fall, I noticed Kirkland's was popping off and they had a lot of dupes for stuff that's at Pottery Barn and West Elm and it is a fraction of the cost. So we're gonna go check there. And I don't wanna buy too much today at Kirkland's or Home Goods unless I just see something that I absolutely have to have for fall decor. I did a really, really good job last year in the fall and Christmas season on like not buying a whole lot. I wanna try and do the same because decor gets really expensive and in 21, I spent a lot on our home decor. But what I really wanna do is look and then at some point within the next week or so, I kinda of wanna pull out all of our fall decor, look at what I've got, look at what I think will go with it well, look at where I think it's gonna go in places that I need something for so that I'm intentionally shopping for seasonal decor because as crazy as it sounds, I feel like by September, I mean, there's still going to be a lot of fall, but I feel like the good stuff is gonna be gone. Like I remember buying a lot of my best fall items last year in August. So we're officially in August. I just got back from watching a friend's little boy while she ran some errands and I just kind of had this like feeling hit me like, let's go spend the afternoon fall shopping. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go.
I was successful in some fronts. I didn't find any artwork at Target. I had some like in my favorites list online on my account, but none of it was in store. I found one that I did like, and I liked the colors and the design, but it wasn't really big enough. I feel like I need something that's about five feet long, like a long skinny for the bedroom above the bed. And then for bathroom, I'm not really sure on size, but I think I want something pretty substantial that's like rectangular and more vertical way. There's one on Target that I really, really like, but I don't know the measurements, so I need to look it up and it may be getting ordered later today. But I did get one thing in Target. I did find these um, Magnolia Hearth and Hand brand uh, dishcloths, I believe they are. Yeah, they're dishcloths. They look like this. The colors are so beautiful. This is kind of like, I mean, this is a true autumn color palette, but this is also kind of the color palette on my home. Like, especially now that my cabinets are green. Greens, terracotta, rust, and I have a lot of leather and wood, and then like neutrals, and I feel like really beautiful neutral colors. So anyways, found this stack, love it. It's only $9.99, which is not bad for four dish cloths, especially to be the Magnolia brand. But I'm either going to drape these and use them as dish cloths or keep them in a literal stack, like somewhere in the kitchen at fall as decor. Who knows? I just feel like this is like, I have a lot of this color and these are beautiful. Then I went to Ulta where I, you saw I think in the clip, it was me holding two boxes of the Tula. I just got one. I just wanted to know the price difference because I didn't see it in the store. But I restocked my 24 seven Tula. Um, it is the moisturizer I use every night before I go to bed and every morning before I put makeup on or if I don't put makeup on, I still put this on. So I use one of these about every four to five months. It's obviously not cheap because if you know anything about skincare, none of good skincare is cheap, but I do really, really like this and I've had good success with this. So I try to keep up with it. I then went in Sephora where they did not have any of the Summer Fridays lip butter. I think it's called lip butter. It's basically like a tinted balm thing. They were out of all the colors that they keep stocked, but the color I was specifically looking for, they did not have. It didn't seem like they carried it. So I'm probably gonna be ordering that on sephora.com. And then I went in Kirkland's where I looked around. They had a few cute things. It was very Kirkland's. I don't know how to really explain that. You just know it, it's a lot of like farmhouse, trendy, I'm trying to think. It's like, it's very cute. It's just, it was very on brand, which I do enjoy, but I don't like buying up a ton of that stuff without like having my other stuff out to really see what I've got going on. So it was just a browse. Then I went to Home Goods where I definitely had my most success. I don't know what it is about Home Goods that has such a chokehold on me, but like I'm always finding stuff every time I go in there. None of it that I was looking for, none of it that I'm needing, but I find it. But I did walk away with four pieces and under $50. So I feel like that is a really good success. First thing I'll show you are these napkins. So it says, I put a spell on you. I honestly, that's a ho hocus pocus quote. I honestly am not the biggest Hocus Pocus fan. I just love these colors. <laughs> Next was this candle, which was up by the checkout area. If you know, you know, and it's really cute packaging. It looks like a recipe and it's got this like little spoon detail. This is what it looks like. It's called, I think maple cookie. Honestly, I would not explain it, the, sn the scent as maple cookie. I don't know, I don't, guess I know what maple cookie totally smells like, but this candle smells so good. It's very heavy and rich smelling, but I think it's a really nice kitchen candle because it does kind of smell like something baking. But I'm typically a bath and body only girl because I think they just fill the air and the room the best. I have a lot of other candles I've tried before that smell amazing in the jar, but they never like, you can never smell them when they're burning. But this one is so rich that I'm hoping it will work because it smells so good. Next, I purchased something that I really thought I would never hop on this trend, but here we are. So these are mushroom garlands. So this is the farmhouse brand. It's called the farmhouse Rachel Aswell, Ashwell, Rachel Ashwell. Um, these are some of the like garlands that have little objects on them. I have quite a few of these for different seasons. And to be honest, I really thought I was gonna hang my ghost one in the living room, but I saw this 
and I had to have it. I was not a fan of the mushroom decor. I'm not a mushroom girly. Like I feel like in the spring, it just like went insane. People were decorating with these little mushrooms everywhere. And I was just not about it. I was just didn't really understand. But these little mushrooms are a Sherpa and cloth mushroom. They're in two shades of brown, which you know how I love my browns. And it's wooden bead garland. And I just feel like if you're gonna decorate with mushrooms, fall is the season where that has business. And I don't know, they were just so cute. I'm basically gonna unbox these and I'm gonna try it out. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna return it. So I've got to do it within like 30 days, I think, so that I can get my money back if I don't like it. But I think I'm gonna like it. And the last thing I picked up, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this yet, but it is this candy corn basket. It's so cute. You can tell it's like pretty good depth. So I would say it's about four to five inches deep, um, but it's very cute. Like you could honestly set it up and it would stand by itself just fine. And it could be a little backdrop in your kitchen for something, or you could lay it down and use it as a basket. It would obviously hold candy very well. Um, I think that's probably its purpose, but I have a few little candy corn items. I do not like the taste of candy corn at all, but I do really like the look of it. Um, most of my fall decor stuff is very generic fall. It's a lot of like generic pumpkins, not jack-o'-lanterns, but pumpkins, leaves. Um, we now have the mushrooms, um, a lot of like plaid and gingham and browns and orange. So I basically can put it out in the very early mist of fall and then keep it through Thanksgiving when I take it down to put up Christmas, which is how I like it because I don't like a lot of heavily seasonal Halloween and then Thanksgiving, especially because Thanksgiving just doesn't have a ton of decor. But in the Halloween season, I do like decorating with a few like candy corn items. And I think I have a little sign that says trick or treat and just a few little items here and there that specify that it is Halloween. And then my last stop was to Kroger. I picked up something on the whim. There's a Kroger over in the shopping center that all of my errands were at today. Um, recently I had really been craving my pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. I think it's just because of how much fall I'm seeing on social media and so on that I really wanted to make my pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. They are a three ingredient, super easy recipe, very cheap dish to make. I literally take these everywhere and fall as a little gift or like treat that I can bring to feel like I'm contributing because they typically go over super well and they're just so easy and it makes a ton. I typically have to use two mini muffin pans and like one is full, one is half full, but it, it typically makes a ton, but they are so good. They're so divine. So I thought that later today we would make these as a little treat to end our welcome to fall day. Um, I'm still going to be rocking shorts and t-shirts and open toed shoes and short dresses and so on for a few more weeks at least, but I feel like it is the time to start getting fall together. So the first thing you're gonna need for these muffins is spice cake mix. You can literally buy any brand of spice cake mix. I got Duncan Hines signature today because it was the cheapest at Kroger. You're gonna need a box of this. You're going to need a can of pumpkin puree. Definitely get the 100% one, not like, I mean, I've never found anything other than this, but People say there's like some other kind of pumpkin sauce puree thing that floats around on the baking aisle. Don't get that, get this, but this is 15 ounces. This is the Kroger brand. You do not have to get an expensive brand. This is a dollar for this can. And then you're going to need mini chocolate chips and there is no limit to how much of that you're gonna need. It's totally just preferred amount to taste. I flirt with how much I put in there each time. I have found that the chocolate chips a little goes a long way and I do like to still be able to taste a good amount of pumpkin. So I typically use about a third to half of the bag per batch. All you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to mix this whole box of cake mix, not including the ingredients on the back to make the cake, not including those, just the box of cake mix dry with the whole can of puree and then however many chocolate chips you want. You wanna mix that up really good. Disperse it among your mini muffin pan and bake for about 12 minutes. Your oven may differ a little bit, but mine typically cooks things in a shorter amount of time and I do mine for about 12 minutes. If you want to do them in regular size muffins, totally can. I would just cook for about 15 to 16 minutes. And that is literally all you have to do. So 
we're gonna make those a little later today. But yeah, I feel like this has been a very fulfilling fall intro day. I'm looking into my living room right now and it's kind of strange that today is August 1st and I'm gonna decorate in about a month to five weeks-ish. And from that point until the new year, 2024, I will have seasonal decor up in my house, all over my house, 100% of the time. And that's just a very strange feeling because like I said earlier, July 1st marks this half of the year, the later half of the year, but I feel like we're not halfway through until August because there's just something about July that feels still so summery, it's so warm, it's it's very hot here, and so I just don't feel like we're in this like new season or anything, but the truth is we are, and I just know the last three months of the year especially just seem to fly by with the holiday crazies and busyness and all the seasonal things that are going on and that there is to do. But I just feel like I want to really savor those moments this year and I just feel like this year has gone by in the absolute blink of an eye. I know that it does for everyone every year. It seems every year gets faster and faster and faster. But I just want to savor August and the cleanliness and minimalness of my home with no seasonal decor. Really take it in, soak it all in before we get into the very sweet holiday season. Wednesday morning. It is almost 10 o'clock. We're about to go and get nails redone for the month. I get my nails redone every month at the very beginning of the month. So I remember when it's like actually time because I really like to get a month out of them. But they are so grown out as you can see. There's like so much space there and then they're so so long. Um, when they start to get like that it's hard for me to like get my contacts on my eyes and pick things up. So it becomes a real problem. But we're gonna go do that today and then we are heading up to my grandparents if you watched a few vlogs back i it was back in the spring um me and my grandma have been quilting a t-shirt quilt from all my college sorority t-shirts and we finally finished it up this last week when i was working on it back in april with her the last day the machine her machine was really having some problems it was not wanting to cooperate so we didn't get as much done back in the spring as we hoped. Um, she took it to the shop, they looked at it. I'm not really sure what they did to it, but when I went back last week, it had no problems. So that was great. So we did finally get to finish that up and I'm going to pick it up and take it to a quilting shop to put it through the industrial quilter. What my grandma and I do is we piece everything together to make a front and a back, but she does not have a machine large enough to put them together. So taking it there and hopefully within the next like two-ish weeks or so i'll have it back to show you the finished finished product <laughs> but that's what we've got going on today errands wise i did want to show you because i mentioned yesterday looking for artwork and such i did want to show you kind of what i've come up with last night to determine the artwork i wanted I found two pieces, both from Target, that I really liked for spaces, um, but I measured them out. I put them up on the wall, and I've determined one piece is going to work and one is not. So this is just a good idea for you if you're looking at getting some wall art, maybe something you can do to visualize the piece in your space better. So here is our bedroom, and it's obviously kind of backlit right now, but I took paper and pieced it together and then cut the dimensions of the art 
um, and then hung it up on the wall to see what I thought. So this was one piece of artwork. It was 38 by 58 inches. And in my opinion, this is too large for the space. It just looks to be very, very big. And I think it kind of makes our bedroom feel smaller in a weird way with having a piece that large up on the wall. But this piece in our bathroom is 24 by 36 inches. And it's kind of hard to show you all of it because we have a very narrow bathroom. I did already order the piece I was looking for for here this morning because I think this is like the perfect size and it really complements the color palette with all the neutrals. Oh, it's honestly gonna complement our new um, cabinet paint color once I get that painted very soon. So that we got. So, so excited. Um, I think it said it'll come in Saturday. So it will be included in a week vlog. All right, so I am back from running all my errands. It is now almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna show you my nails. And I also have a super fun piece of mail that has come in. So I got it off the porch, we're gonna unbox it together, and then I'm making me some lunch. So let me show you my nails. I went with this really pretty, very pale pink. It's a very natural color. I am really, really liking it. So I'm gonna try and remember the number in the book that it was in so I can get it again because it is this very, very nude neutral. It reminds me a lot of Funny Bunny, but it has a very a very light underlying pink, and I really like it. All right, so we are now unboxing this Target delivery. I hope it is packaged well, because I've been looking forward to this, and I do not want it to be scuffed up. So we are unboxing. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> I have one of the Stanleys from the new Magnolia collection that just released. They were all very pretty. I feel like they were really great neutral toned colors, especially for fall and winter because there was like hunter green, navy, there was a beautiful brown that if I did not already have the Driftwood Stanley, I would have gotten that taupe brown color. I feel like you should probably know which color this is if you saw the collection drop, but if not, oh, I'm so excited to see in person. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are not a codfish. Y'all, it is even more beautiful in person, but it is the serene green. I feel like it just blends so perfect with my cabinets back there. Anyways, this is the serene green. It's like a mint sage green color. Oh, it is so, so pretty. It has silver accents, which you know, I'm not a big silver person, but it looks nice on the green. It honestly blends in super well. It is a 2.0. <sighs> I can't wait to carry this around. I feel like this is just the color palette of my life right now. All right, guys, it is the next day. It is Thursday. I did resize this down to a new piece of art that I found, and it is now 25 by 49. I am very aware that it is not totally straight or even in the center of the bed, but that is a general placement of where I'd put it, and I do think that this looks much better. I think that it goes with the space a lot better and fits in that space better. This new one has some more neutrals and a little bit warmer tones and more like cream and tan and beige and I think it would go better with future bed spreads and be able to move around in our home. So then I'm going to order it now looking at this so I'll have to show you guys once it comes in. Hello everyone so I know it's been a minute since I updated you I think I did yesterday um just a little bit we went to a nice dinner with my brother and my mom for um like to celebrate the end of Austin's summer before he goes back to South Carolina for college but today is Friday and I have been very ill all day. Don't really know like what's going on. I've just had this like pounding headache, migraine mixed with a stomach ache. I tried to down some lunch and it really was just hopeless. Like I didn't touch much of it. So I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru cause this is kind of like the first time today that I've been wanting to eat anything and it is 7 p.m. I got up at like 8.45 this morning and just felt pretty like sluggish and then that turned into whatever funk I've been in today. So that's it today, hasn't been too exciting and tomorrow I'm not really sure what's gonna be exciting cause I have a very chill day tomorrow as well but we will see. So maybe I'll update you again today. We'll see, but just wanted to give a little update as to what's been going on. All right, everybody. 
everybody so it is saturday and my piece of artwork it came in it is in this very large box so let's unpack it all right so i know there's a glare because there is a window literally like right there that's reflecting the sun in but I'm going to try and get it where you can see um it's a piece or multiple pieces of fabric that are actually framed but it's multiple layers of fabric and material to just create this abstract look and I think it's going to go perfectly with our color scheme in our bathroom So this piece is what came in. It is finally hung. I really like the placement of it. I know it still has kind of a glare because it is behind glass encasement. Um, and there's a mirror, there's mirrors and there's windows and such. So it is kind of hard to see on camera, but it's so beautiful. I love the natural wood framing and it's actually a piece of fabric. If you can kind of tell that's framed. Um, which is really unique. It's like a piece of paper fabric, but it's just got all these like neutrals and abstractness to it. And I think that it looks very pretty. It's perfect for the space. And this just is totally my vibe. So it's going to come with us to our next home whenever that may be. So quite the investment piece. Okay guys, so happy Sunday, happy start to a new week. I'm going to end this weekly vlog here just because it is the start of a new week and I want to start a new vlog. So I thought I would end though, since we spent so much time talking about the fall and the upcoming season, I thought I would show you and share my little fall bucket list slash content plan that I've been working on for about the last month or so. I finally printed it out, consolidated it, decided on what was most realistic and came up with a good little plan. So this is going to technically start, I'm not starting it now, even though I have done a few of these things already. I wanna start it September 1st, I believe, and then kind of let it take me through some of November. I know November is very much considered to be Christmas time in our culture nowadays, and it is exciting to welcome the Christmas season, but I do think some of these things could very well take place in November still, since it is more fall colors and weather, and we have Thanksgiving at the end of November. So let's go through this. Maybe this will give you some good ideas as to what you can do this fall um, and some fun things that you can look forward to for the channel. So I've broken up my list into three categories and it is called a bucket list slash content plan because I do want to share a lot of the things I do this fall with you guys on all my platforms. So I've broken up into three categories. The first one is to do, the second one is to make, and the third one is to watch. So they kind of intertwine with each other through seasons, but the first category is to do. And with that, I have to decorate for fall. That is kind of my kickoff to any season is decorating for the season. Next, I'm going to Jackson's Orchard. This is an orchard in Kentucky. It is about an hour and a half from our home in Tennessee, so it is a little bit of a trek. We do have good orchards in Tennessee, but this orchard is also a pumpkin patch, and it kind of offers everything that an orchard or a patch would offer, and it brings Luke and I back to our college nostalgia all the time because it is in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where we went to college, and we would go every year that we were together in college and it just brings back such fun memories and it's a really really great orchard and pumpkin patch they have hay rides you apple pick they have all these apple preserves and food things that are so yummy that you can get you can get your pumpkins and a bunch of other seasonal fall vegetables and such there and it's just really special 
Next I have on here, Get Pumpkins and Mums. I've never bought Mums. It's kind of daunting to me because I know that you do have to be very aware of the weather that is currently taking place when you buy Mums because I believe it's if you get a cold strike, then they will die very quickly and they do not come back. So kind of hesitant on it, but I do really want to get some live mums this year to take care of because I do always just love seeing them in people's front porches and even if they have them inside, I just think mums are beautiful. Next, I have a soup and chili night with friends. So I really want to host one here with some of our closest friends. Maybe everyone bring a soup or a chili and just do a big gathering. Next, I have a baking day, which kind of points to my to make because a lot of the to make is food items, but I do want to do a big day of pumpkin and apple baking and see what all we can come up with. Next, I have fall fashion. I really want to put together a few short form videos and long form videos as far as fall fashion and where that can take you because I do love fashion. Next, I have host a football game day watch party and I believe I already know which one I want to do as far as Tennessee football goes, but I do want to host something fun um, at a good game day time for people to come and watch the game. Next, I have go to Knoxville for a football game and I actually do already have a ticket to one of the home games this year for Tennessee, so that is coming up. Next, I have plan and work on Halloween costumes. Luke and I have had years where we have coordinated our costumes really well and then we've had years where only I've dressed up and we've had years where we put something together super last minute but I really want to be much more intentional this year and come up with a fun Halloween costume for us to do together. Next is trunk or treat at church. Our church has a big trunk or treat every year and I would really like to decorate up a trunk that corresponds with our outfits and take part in that. Next I have WKU homecoming, which is in November. We have not been able to go um, literally since we became alums. And every year I always underestimate it and think that a bunch of our friends won't be there and then they are and they say how much fun it was. And so I'm really, really hopeful this year we can go. And the last thing on here is Friendsgiving, which will definitely be tying off the fall season as after Thanksgiving weekend is over. It is very much Christmas in full swing around here. But I really wanna have a Friendsgiving and make it very fun. So still trying to figure out how that's gonna work, but I would really like to do that this year. Next category is to make. This is basically just a list of some of the baking items that I do enjoy making in the fall season that I wanna make at least once. The first being my pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, which I have already made as you saw early in this video, but I do wanna make them again. I will honestly probably make them again in September and October because I do like to take them and spread the joy. Next are some apple cinnamon muffins. I really wanna figure out how to make these from scratch because I think they would be delicious and such a good like pastry to have with coffee in the morning. Next are the iconic Pillsbury Halloween cookies that have the little pumpkins on the front. I think they make a few different designs during the Halloween season and those are always just fun to take for kids or have to munch on. Next we have stovetop cider. I really wanna make some stovetop apple cider and have that aroma just fill the room. I think that might be something that I do while I decorate for Halloween and Thanksgiving in the fall season. And the last thing is a fall coffee flight. Now that we have our nifty spiffy Breville machine, I really wanna take advantage of it and make a fall coffee flight with a few different types of fall themed coffees. And last but not least, the category to watch. This is basically a bunch of movies that I just wanna watch throughout the fall season to get myself more in the season. The first is always a Harry Potter movie marathon. I'm actually, as I'm filming this right now in the middle of movie six, which is the Half-Blood Prince. So I'm very close to the end as there are eight movies, but I will probably do the whole marathon again as it gets closer to Halloween or as the weather is really cooling down because I know it's like always a controversial topic. Is Harry Potter more of a Christmas time series to watch or a Halloween time series to watch or whatever? For me though, it is Prisoner of Azkaban and those fall scenes that just make the whole series seem so fall to me. I can always do a Harry Potter movie marathon. I think I do the full marathon a few times a year to be honest. And then I'll just pop on a random one here and there throughout the year. So I'm always watching them. But I think it's also just the like witches and wizards and all the creatures and things that make me think of the fall as well. Next, I have Ghostbusters, which has been a very long time since I have watched that movie. And I mean a very long time, like I don't remember really anything about it. The song Ghostbusters is one of my all-time favorite Halloween 
fall songs. So wanna watch that. Next I have the newer Adams Family movie. It's not new new, I think it's like two or three years old at this point, maybe even more than that but I've never seen it, so I do wanna watch that. Next, I have The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I have never watched this cartoon, but I know it's a fall classic, and the animation and little depictments from the movie are some of the cutest Halloween backdrops that I always see, so I do finally want to watch that. Next, I have Hocus Pocus, also something I've never seen, and I know that a second one was just released, so I probably should watch that while I'm at it, but I've actually never seen Hocus Pocus, so I would like to cross that off. Next, I have Halloween Town. These were some of my favorite DCOM movies growing up, and so I would like to watch those again. Next, I have The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've actually only seen this film one time, but some of the songs are actually really, really good, and they are some of the best bops in my fall playlist that I have that I play throughout the fall season. So I'd like to watch it again and give it another go. And the last movie series I have is Descendants. I have never watched this either, but again, a lot of those songs I love and have in my fall playlist, and I am bopping along in the car having my own concert to them. So I would like to finally watch the movies. And that is all I have for my fall bucket list. I will go ahead and say that this past week has been a little cooler. It is still very, very humid, which makes it feel hot and muggy outside because we keep having storms a lot in Middle Tennessee right now because of the heat, I guess. But I am so, so excited to get into the fall season. And thank you guys for coming along on this little weekly vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.